Our last look at artists and folk art is here in Brookline, a place where adults with disabilities come to paint, make pottery, jewelry, and create sculptures. This is Gateway Arts, home to studios, gallery, and store. Gateway has been a vibrant home to creativity ever since 1973, one result of deinstitutionalization of state hospitals and schools. They decided nationally to let people go into the community and then they needed things for people to do. Stephen DeFranzo is artistic director. What's happened is across the country and around the world really is this studio art center movement. It's where people with disabilities go and work and make art and do craft work. People such as Sidney Perry. Master of the Studio Art Center. He was one of the originals in 1973. He's like a model of what you can do in this kind of situation. Sydney's work is featured in an online gallery show and has been seen in shows from New York to Cambridge, England. His work is fabulous and, and very imaginative and, and very creative, very unusual and well collected. Another well collected artist is Carmela Salvucci. She does pottery. It's fabulous jungle scene is what I see, garden scene. And has a distinctive painting style. Union Oyster House right here, downtown Boston, landmark. She made it her colors. She can't paint them quick enough. People are very interested in her work. Bill Thibodeau supervises the Folk Art Studio. Folk Art Studio is uh, anything goes, really. We do painting and drawing, but we also do some collage and found object sculptures. You never know what an artist is going to grab to make a sculpture. Any possibilities. They're all here. We're not teachers, we facilitate. We give them the materials to create what they are desiring to create. We will help them as much as we have to to get their idea out. Ideas that result in creations such as these for sale in the store. In 48 years, Gateway Arts has grown and now welcomes more than 100 artists. The general public can come and buy it and see it. We very much want to give people with disabilities who have talent a chance to have a voice in the art world. They are so proud of their work and I'm proud of them. This is great. They're so happy. It's uh, rewarding. Some great pieces there and Gateway stores open by appointment or items are available online. Artists receive 50% of the sales. The other 50% fund services and materials, allowing these artists to continue their artistic growth. Gateway Arts operates under the umbrella of VinFen, a large human services provider in Massachusetts. And that is Chronicle for tonight. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Shana Seymour. We hope that you and yours are staying safe and healthy. We'll see you back here tomorrow night for another edition of Chronicle.